The 2010-11 season was one of change for the Air Force women's basketball team. A new coaching staff brought an entirely different style of play to the academy, and a core group of young players bought into the system and built a foundation of improvement that has Falcon fans enjoying great prospects for the future. I think we're just all ready for change and ready for a new season to happen. And I think we're kind of in shock when Artie first said that they're not going to be our coaches anymore, but. A few days after that, we we're all ready for a change and ready for new coaches to come in. I think all of us kind of had to fill out how these new coaches were, and we were excited initially. We knew that some change needed to happen for you know us to, you know, start going in the right direction. But um, you know, just getting to know the coaches and learning their their philosophies and ideas and the way that they run things on the court, in individuals and practices. Um, I think once we found out what they wanted, I think a lot, you know, most of us, all of us. Um, bought in. Muniz, front court, middle of the floor, gives to Beck, lobbing down low, good catch by O'Neal, layup good, good pass by Beck, good catch by O'Neal. Muniz into the corner, Berger, Berger takes it into the block, jumper off the glass is in. O'Neal in the lane, jump pass, good one, Diamond James, layup good. Inbounds pass, stolen away, Maybrand takes the steal, lays it up and scores. Looks and gets it to James, free throw line. Diamond down the lane, left side, inside, spins it off the glass for two. He's short, in front of the rim, rebound comes off, and Beck saves it to Thompson. Thompson, long outlet pass for Hilbig. Hilbig to Megan O'Neill in the paint, jumper, good. 44-42 Air Force, Berger goes left, baseline, under and through, reverse layup, Kelsey Berger. Cut off there by O'Neal, fills it out high, Beck with the steal, Beck with Williams to beat, in from the right, layup try, yes! The non-conference schedule gave this team the opportunity to learn on the fly. Lone senior Ramey Beck led the way, but it was the sophomore class that proved to be the core that would provide the life this team needed to rise to heights that hadn't been reached in several years. Satterfield gives to James. To Muniz, left of the free throw line. Jumper, got it, make from the baseline. Gets to Leipren, her jumper is good. Muniz looks at the shot clock, swings it right side, Ramey Beck. She'll put it up, right side, good again! Ramey Beck straight away, three, can't shoot. Right side, Hilbig, she'll put it up, and she hits a three-pointer. Misses the shot, loose on the floor. Ramey Beck has it, two on two, go on the other way. Beck all the way, inside, we're tied. 72, 72, goes left with it now. Down the lane, Muniz flips it up, left hand, up the glass, and scores. Fresh shot clock for the Falcons. Here's Beck, right side, Beck up the glass, count it, and in overtime, Air Force 80, Colgate 75. Our coach really emphasized that we really need to get this win, especially since the game before Navy had escaped from us. Um, this would just be a good confidence booster going into conference. Even when we're down, we can keep pushing. Because I mean, we're, we're all, from playing last year and things like that, and earlier, even earlier in the, uh, in the, I guess the non-conference games, um, we had been down and kind of not coming back from it, like maybe cutting the lead down, but actually getting the win and showing that we could be down 19, 20 points and then still um, push through whatever. It kind of shows that I guess we're the only ones kind of stopping us from ourselves, I guess. The win over Colgate gave the Falcons renewed confidence as they headed into Mountain West Conference play. And although the fruits of their labor weren't found right away, they got their first conference win in 40 tries over San Diego State in Game 4. It's to Muniz, three against two. Falcons running the other way. Muniz to Hillbig, layup, good! Air Force. Back drives, pulls up, jumper, no. Rebound, Satterfield kicks it out to Muniz. She puts up the 15-footer, got it. Bradley, left side for Courtney. Back to Bradley, Bradley right down the lane, out front, lays it up, scores. Force, James. Leibrandt has it, takes it inside, dishes to O'Neal, who hits a short jumper out front. 15-12, Falcons, Leibrandt, a steal at center court. She takes it the way, lane to the court, lays it up, scores. Davis backs away now, waits for help, steps back, three-pointer, got it. And we're even at 17 all. Left angle, Griffin, bouncer inside for Johnson. Johnson, baby hook, in the lane, good. In 
inbounds comes to Berger. Berger right angle. She'll jump it up. Got it. Air Force 51. San Diego State 49. Clements eight on the shot clock. High post to Bradley. Bradley walk. No call. She gets it out to Griffin, who hits the three. Muniz at the free throw line. Eight on the shot clock. Stop and go. Can't get free. Passes baseline. Clay Brandt jumper. Good. Alicia Leibrandt gives Air Force a three-point lead. Air Force by three, 16 seconds remain. The inbounds pass comes to Griffin. Griffin to Paris Johnson. They get it to Coco Davis. Aztecs need a three. Nine seconds. Davis dribbling, right angle, still with the basketball. Gets it to Griffin, top of the circle. Puts up the three, and it's an air ball and out of bounds. So, baseball pass ahead. Satterfield's got it. Satterfield holds on to it, and the Falcons are going to win it. Air Force 61, San Diego State 58. Despite a record crowd that won the Mountain West Conference Pack the House Challenge, a close loss to Colorado State followed. But just when it would have been easy to pack it in, these ladies shocked the world against first place TCU. Circle for Muniz, 15 on the shot clock. Free throw line, James is open, jumps it from there and hits it. Knocks to Carter, backs out of there. Gives it back inside to Rensselaer. Fakes one way, goes the other, puts it up over Satterfield and scores. Satterfield up top for Muniz. Tried to force it inside to Ivy. Stolen away by TCU. Another Air Force turnover. That's eight. Deep in the corner, Carter. TCU all of a sudden up by five. To Satterfield, left angle behind the back pass for Beck. Step back, three, good. Gets to Leifrant, five on the shot clock, free throw line open, she'll take it, misses, rebound, put back, Ivy! Back to Carter in the corner. Carter spins, pumps, gets a defender in the air, now shoots it, hits it, and she draws the foul. Carter looks for Ferris Stoder, finds her low on the baseline, turns, and TCU has its biggest lead. Out her three seconds to go, one second to go, and the shot blocked. Nice play by Satterfield. Leibrandt trying to take it inside, can't, gets it to Berger, right side, bingo! TCU, gross to Sparrow's daughter, her three won't go, Beck the rebound. Beck turns, Falcons running, here she comes, up the floor, in the corner, Berger, the three, got it! 48-46, two-point game. Left side, Ramey Beck bounces it in the corner to Satterfield, Satterfield around a defender, comes in, she scores, and she's fouled! Free throw, good, Air Force, 49, TCU, 48. Holds over her head to Berger, right of the circle. Berger steps into the paint, flips it up, left hand and scores. Kelsey Berger, 240 to go in the game. Bounce pass, low, left side for Air Force, James. James spins inside and Diamond James lays it up off the glass and scores. 55, 52, Air Force. Second one, good again. With 28 and a half seconds to go. This is Thompson, and she dribbles it off of her foot and out of bounds. She does it. Ramey Beck, free throw. The crowd counting off the last seconds, and there it is. It is over. Air Force wins it. Air Force wins it. Air Force 60, TCU 55. One more win over UNLV gave the Falcons three conference triumphs for the first time in five seasons and fell one short of the record for an Air Force team. But despite the improvement, they were only able to nab the number nine seed in the Mountain West Conference Tournament, and they would have to play fourth-seeded Colorado State in the first round. Alicia Leiprant dropped 17 points on the Rams in the first half and continued her scoring in the second session to keep the Falcons within striking distance. As time wound down, it was the senior once again leading the way. Ramey Beck's long distance three-pointer gave them the lead. They they started to go in a 2-3 zone and I'm like, what are they doing, you know? I'm like, to me, I'm like, I love when teams go in a 2-3 zone because I can just camp out on the three, which I like to shoot threes. So when they did that, you know, um, the first few times I didn't shoot, but um, that one time that I did shoot, we uh, threw the ball around the horn and I was like, I'm going to shoot it because this girl's given me about a foot and a half and I'm like, even though I'm far off, like I still feel like I can shoot it. And I shot it and I'm like, if this, this one has to go in <laughs> and it went in, so thankfully, so.
it was, it was good, a good feeling. And then tough defense on the other end led to the block that sealed the deal. I, I knew, I knew she was gonna get the ball, she was gonna try to shoot the three, tie it, or, so um, I was just gonna stick on her like glue. And um, even if like, I wasn't gonna foul her, but I put my hands straight up and she shot right into my hands. And so I was lucky with that, you know, and felt bad for her, but I was feeling great, so. <laughs> The win was the first ever for an Air Force team, men or women, in a first round Mountain West Conference tournament game. The final 9-21 record wasn't a great reflection of the strides this team made during the season. Their 1,762 points on the year were a new record while playing at the Division I level, surpassing the mark set by the most successful team in Falcon history. That mark was boosted by 91 points in one game alone, the second most in the D1 era and the eight home wins set a new mark in that same time period. After four solid years, the Falcons have to say goodbye to their lone senior. Rainy Beck has finished her career at the academy, but her name will stay on for years to come. She leaves with her name among the top 10 in 16 of the 17 statistical categories at the D1 level. In her four years, she started each and every game she was able to play in, setting a career mark with 118 contests. The two-time All-Mountain West Conference honoree ranks first all-time at the Academy in free throw percentage and three-pointers made and attempted. She leaves as the Falcons' all-time leading scorer at the Division I level with 1,386 points. Ramey also holds records for career scoring average, assists, steals, and field goal attempts. She's also the only current player in school history to rank in the top 10 all time in career points, assists, and rebounds, ranking fifth, sixth, and seventh, respectively. She's a good leader and a good role model for everyone. Years playing with her, um, just seeing how she deals with situations and um, like how she dealt with the previous coaching staff and then how she was able to um, like buy in with, with the new coaches. I mean, she could have just, like, I'm a senior. I play 38 minutes, like I don't really need you guys type thing, but she was able to buy in, she was, she was ready to listen, things like that, when also trying to bring the younger players along. While Ramey leaves to pursue her Air Force career, the team she leaves behind is in good hands. Jamila Satterfield will take over as the lone senior, but the upcoming junior class is set to bring this team to even loftier accomplishments. The future of Air Force women's basketball has never looked so good. I would just tell them to never give up and to always try to do your best every day and try to keep motivated um, because it will get tough at times but as long as you keep trying hard you, we can turn this program around. Um, I'm excited and I, I hope that everyone else is ten times more excited um, to put in a lot of work because I feel like we can uh, we can occupy that number three spot in the conference like I feel like that is a doable goal for us um, and even possibly getting maybe a 500 record uh, for the season so I definitely see that in our future.